I love wide angle lenses. This is what I'm using like 90% of the time. And for me, there is no such thing as too wide. I personally love the weird and wild distortion that these things provide, but sometimes that distortion becomes too much and it does need to be fixed. That's the lesson in this week's video. We're gonna be talking about fixing wide angle distortion with a little tool called Puppet Warp. Now, Puppet Warp was originally used, like the name implies, for moving around an object or a person, just like a puppet. We're gonna be using this tool, though, for a different application. Here's a photo of probably the most iconic tree in America. We even got my buddy Peter over here on the right-hand side. Unfortunately, though, you can see the tree is not quite vertical. It's kind of got this leaning tower of Pisa look to it. To fix this, we're going to create a copy of our background layer. We can do so by hitting Command and J. That's gonna create a copy of that. And then we're gonna go up to Edit and then down to Puppet Warp. You can see we have this mesh overlay now. And up in the top left, we have a few different options to choose from. When I'm straightening things like trees, I like to go for rigid, and I like to change my density from normal to more points. You can also see that our cursor has changed to this little pin cushion icon, and this works by clicking and it adds a little pin into your scene. So we're gonna go all around the edges of our photo, adding little pins. I like to think about this when I was 13 and doing a really bad job of hanging up crappy band posters in my room, by adding way too many tacks around the edges of the photo. <laughs> so essentially these pins around the outside of the photo are holding those corners in place, and then we can manipulate additional pins to straighten out this tree. So I'm gonna put one more pin down at the bottom and one more pin up at the top, and then I can click this and then start dragging to the left to straighten it out, and then I can drag the bottom one to the right to straighten out this section of the tree. And then if I want to manipulate this further, maybe I could take another one on the right and kind of pull that around, and then another one on the left and pull that. I'm gonna hit enter to confirm this, and then we can see our tree is straight up and down. Let's go ahead and compare the before and after. Here we can see the before where our tree is very crooked, and after our tree is now straight up and down. Here's another photo of the Utah Badlands, and because this was shot on an ultra wide angle lens, the edges of these buttes are all leaning outward and fairly distorted. Again, we're gonna hit Command and J to create a copy of our background layer, go up to Edit again, and then down to Puppet Warp. Just like before, I'm gonna change my mode from normal to rigid and change the density from normal to more points. And then I can go ahead around the edge and add all of these little pins. <laughs> And now that we have those in place, we can start manipulating the image to straighten this out. I'm gonna click down here at the bottom of this butte and then at the top. And I'm gonna drag this one on the bottom to kind of straighten this out. And then again at the top. And this is gonna require a little bit of finesse. I might have to do two passes or two different puppet warps to really fix this one. I'm gonna do the same thing for this middle butte here gonna kind of straighten this one out, kind of drag this over, and then I'm gonna do the same thing for this butte on the right-hand side. I'm gonna click and drag this on the bottom to the right, and take this one that's on top and drag it to the left. Same thing over here. I'm gonna click and drag this over, and then drag this one on the bottom of the right to straighten that out. I think we're almost there, but I'm gonna have to do one more pass with the Puppet Warp to fix this butte on the left-hand side. So I'm gonna confirm that by pressing Enter, go back up to Edit, and then down to Puppet Warp, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna change the mode to Rigid, Density to More Points, and I don't have to go all around the edges with my little pins this time since I'm only clicking on this butte right here. So again, I'm gonna click somewhere on the bottom, I'm gonna drag over, click on the top, and do something like this to try and straighten it out. I'd say that looks pretty good. I'm gonna hit enter. If I turn off this background layer though, you'll notice that I lost a little bit of resolution right around the edges of the frame. So I can go ahead and hit C, that's my shortcut for crop, and then I can change my ratio to original ratio, and then just bring in 
so that I don't have any of that black edge around it. Hit enter, and there we go. Let's go ahead and compare this to see the before and the after. Unfortunately, in this case, it wasn't a perfect solution, and I can see we do have a problem. While most of the image does look better, you can see here in the fixed version, I've got this kind of wonky waviness in the background. Luckily, this is a super easy fix. What we're going to do is add a layer mask to our top layer. I'm gonna go down here to add a layer mask. I'm then going to hit B for brush. I'm gonna make sure my hardness is set all the way at zero and my opacity and my flow are up to 100. Then I'm gonna make sure my color is set to black. I'm gonna increase the brush size with the right bracket key. And I'm going to then brush away the background here. I can see that I am now exposing some of this layer below. So I'm gonna hit X. That's gonna switch my color palette to white. I'm gonna make my brush a little bit smaller and then I can go ahead and brush that away back there. You can see I also have a little bit of ghosting around here. I'm gonna make my brush size smaller to clean this up just along the edges. This is gonna take a little bit of finesse here. So again, we can see the before and the after. Everything's looking good, so we can move on to the next photo. I've got another photo with trees here, but you can see the trees are right up against the edge of the frame. So that's gonna present its own problem that I'm gonna have to work through. Just like before, I'm gonna hit Command J to create a copy of our background layer, and then up to Edit, and then down to Puppet Warp, and I'm gonna more or less follow the exact same steps. Go up to Rigid, change my density to more points, and then I'm going to go around the outside, putting in all these little pins. Now that's done, I can zoom in here and add a couple of pins to the bottom of where these trees are, and then I can click from the top and then use this to straighten the trees out just like so. And if it needs a little bit more work, you can then drag this pin down here at the bottom and that's gonna help and straighten these trees out. You can do so to this one over here. And then this one over on the right hand side, I can tell this one is gonna be the trickiest because you can see as I'm straightening it out, I'm also losing information and I have some visible background here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just edit this just like normal. That's not a problem. I'm gonna hit enter to confirm that. And then I'm gonna turn off our background layer here. And we can see I lost quite a bit of information over on the right hand side. That's not a problem. Photoshop has a ton of tools to fix this. So you could use content aware, you could use generative fill. In this case though, I'm going to use the remove tool. The hotkey for that is J. Alternatively, you can click over here and make sure you don't have spot healing brush or patch or anything else selected. You just click and hold to get to remove tool. And from here, I can just select the side and brush over the area that I want to fill. Even though it says remove, it's actually going to be able to fill in the background. Once that's selected, I hit enter. And you can see that most of the transparent area was filled in, but it didn't do 100% of the job. So I'm gonna go again one more time and just select the areas that it didn't do the best in. I'm gonna select that, hit enter, and it's looking pretty good. So I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and then we can compare our before and after, before and after. Puppet Warp is a super useful tool for straightening these things out. I use it all the time. Hopefully you guys can use it too. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.